what is going on guys and gals it's me your old buddy mr moose back in the garage and doing a little more car mechanic simulator 2018. Alrighty, so we are just wrapping up doing some tires here for our 1957 chevy nomad gasser that we're going to build today i've gone ahead and stripped down the entire car redone the suspension so you guys didn't have to sit through that again and uh, that is done so the car is cleaned up we just need to get some wheels underneath it and then we can build a power plant for it and see what this baby will do but anyways i hope you enjoyed the build today if you do as always hit that like button for me share the video with your friends of course comment down below and if you haven't already consider subscribing to the channel i do new videos for you each and every day all right so Again, we are doing the 57 Chevy Nomad. Today we'll wrap up our build, even though there's a couple of versions we haven't done. But if you want to get the Nomad and put it into your game, you can always download it just by going to the Steam forums for Car Mechanic Simulator 2018. Going to go and uh, look for the discussion for modding and then look for Felicix Workshop. That is where you will find the download for this. There is a link in the description that will take you right to it. And that's probably a little bit simpler for you. All right, so there's two sizes of tires for this dragster. Uh, there's some big fat ones that go on the back and some little bitty ones that go on the front. So make sure you get them on right. I guess also on the street mod, uh, somebody was saying, uh, or on the retro mod that i did first somebody was saying that there was an odd set of tires on it as well i completely missed that if there were and i put balance tires all the way around it so. but yeah if you go download this make sure you jump over into the four uh comments and leave a comment for felicix as well just to say thanks for all the hard work that he's done and the hours that he's put in on this mod. And he's not done with it. He was saying that uh, when it does go into the Steam Workshop, when that is available, he's actually going to put a left-hand drive version out because uh, so many people had requested it. So, I mean, the guy puts in an amazing amount of work into it. Somebody was saying the other day, it's a shame he missed some details on it. Dude, really? Come on. He's... I mean, he's done some incredible work as it is, so you gotta you gotta cut him a little slack. If you miss where the posts are on something or whatever, you know, come on. I'll be like, I'll point out some things here and there, but even so, I still acknowledge the amount of work that goes into these things that uh, to make it in the sense that they are. And uh, they're not going to get, most of these modders aren't going to get everything right because of the limitations of the game. But they sure try. And um, so you got to give them credit where credit's due. All right, so get some of that extra stuff out of my inventory. And let's get in here and put this stuff away. I haven't charged the battery up. I just realized that. So let's sling it on here and get it charged up. So when I'm building today, you're going to notice my camera doesn't zoom in and out. During Wednesday night's live stream, I went ahead and disabled that. And of course, I'm recording this on Thursday for Friday. Uh, so that live stream was last night. And... Um, I'm really liking it this way. I, you know, I was hesitant to do it at first because I thought I was going to mess up some of the stuff that I'm accustomed to doing in the game. And keep in mind that I've played this way with the camera zoom for, you know, the better part of three years as I've been playing this game, you know, since it came out in 15. I actually played it before that, but uh, in some of the previous versions of it. But, uh, you know, of all the time that I've really played it heavily, that's always been a part of it. All right, delete all these parts out. Yes, yes, yes. Now I know I could build the engine and, you know, during the live stream I built the engine and I'd use the engine tab to sort parts and I'd just keep my inventory, but I just don't like it. 
I like my inventory to be clean. Only the engine parts in there when I'm building the engine. You know, I don't like it to be all cluttered up. So um, that's the reason why I take that that half a second to go ahead and sell off all of the uh, all of the suspension parts before I start building out the uh, the engine. I just like it to be nice and clean. All right, so today's build is pretty much yesterday's build. Uh, it is the same V8 overhead valve engine with a supercharger on top of it. Only yesterday's build was a two star out of the auction house and most of it cleaned up pretty nicely. Today, probably not gonna be that lucky. Uh, our engine is not complete, as you can tell. So there's gonna be a lot of pieces missing on it and I suspect uh, we'll break a few parts while we're trying to build it, so uh, that's going to be a challenge as well here. i run the build up a little bit, so we'll put, put in some new parts. I guess in a sense I could just tear this whole thing apart and sell everything and buy all new, but I do like to repair it up and see what I can salvage. I guess if I was building a dragster though, I'd want all new stuff, right? I'd want a crate motor. Or I'd want something that I built, you know, with all new parts, because that way I don't have to worry about how much wear and tear is on it. All right, let's jump over to this side. Yeah, not a whole lot of rocker arms on this one, which is fine because we're gonna, they're junk anyways. They're going into trash. As I mentioned, I'm recording this on Thursday for Friday. And at the time of recording this, the um, had not seen, oh, there's still a spark plug in it. I was looking out, I saw all those empty and didn't realize there was one still there. Uh, at the time of recording this, I have not seen anything about the, um, the tuning pack. And as I said yesterday in the video, uh, realizing that the, uh, the tuning kit had a time range on it of October the 5th or between then and October the 10th uh, I imagine it's gonna be next week when it gets released so no biggie most companies don't release things on going into the weekend because you know well most good companies don't release things going into the weekend therefore they uh, don't have to worry about supporting it over the weekend Though I have played some games where the developers have pushed patches or releases out on a Friday and then just gone home and left half of their audience to not be able to play the game because, well, it broke their their entire game. <clears throat> the hunter. Um, that one was funny. They released they released a map for the hunter and. Um, like 50% of the of the game community couldn't play the game because it broke it. It was great. And they just went home for the weekend. What? Stick around and support our game? You must be kidding. We must go out and go shopping with all the money we made. Oh, they didn't look good. Not a whole lot of parts and a whole lot of breakage. So, um, looks like we're gonna have quite the shopping uh, trip and probably a trip to the warehouse. Lost a head, no alternator, cam gear needs replaced, of course, need new camshaft. We've only got one carburetor, we need a clip B, we need a crankshaft, we need crankshaft bearing caps, the pulley, the block, a head, uh, no ignition coil, we need the distributor, Hey, but the cap and the button are good. Uh, pistons, rings, of course we need those. Power steering pump we need. Uh, we've only got one rod cap. Ooh, a couple of air scoops we're gonna need. Serpentine belt, spark plug, supercharger, of course, doesn't repair up. Uh, so we need it and the intake manifold and the pulley for it and a timing chain and a timing chain cover. Pretty much we need an entire motor. With the exception of like a head. All right. So 
First stop's gonna be the warehouse. We're gonna come over here and see what we can get out of it. And then we'll go shopping. Probably have an engine block. May have a water pump. Doubt I have an engine head because we used a lot of those in the live stream uh, the other night. So chances of having that are gonna be slim. But we'll see. Uh, we probably also have the transmission. All right, there's the crankshaft that we need. Uh, that is a performance part. So we cannot use it. There's the engine block. That's good. It's a start. There's the transmission. Camshaft. Radiator fan. Timing chain cover. Well, that's something. Not a whole lot, but it's something. All right, so let's just go buy some stuff. Definitely need a head then. All right, so engine parts. So an alternator would be nice. And then a cam gear. And then we got the camshaft. So we looked at on that part. Carburetor. Clip B. We got our crankshaft, but we need these times three. And I need one of those. And then I need a head. Valve covers, we're gonna need those. Couple of headers. Fuel pump filter. I'm gonna grab the fuel pump because I forgot to grab it. I'm gonna grab that while I'm here as well. I'm gonna get one of those and one of them. And some spark plug wires. Intake manifold is down by the supercharger, but we need that and we need an oil pan as well. Gonna need eight of these guys and eight of these guys. Boom. Uh, power Sherry pump. That's a V8 for this particular car. We're getting on the radiator. Rocker arm, 16 of these. And rod caps times seven. Uh, then I need that and that. Eight of these. Supercharger, intake manifold, supercharger belt, water pump pulley for the supercharger, timing chain. I got the cover, so I need this guy here times 16. There we go. And a water pump. And we should be good. Should be everything we needed this time. So we'll come over here, jump over to the engine stand. We'll go ahead and put our engine block in. There we go. Put our crankshaft in. Then we put our bearing caps on. Times three. There we go. All right, so now we start putting some pistons in. Yes, I'm sure I want to put that in. And I'm sure I want to put that one in. As well as that one. Pretty happy with it. Yep. And we'll grab that one as well. This part just seems like it drags and gets so slow right here. All right, ride caps. That having to push things like four times to put it all together, it bogs you down a little bit. But I'd rather them do that than not have that actually part of the part of the game. Let's put these back in. But yeah, getting rid of the uh, camera view. I, I'm digging it. I, uh, 
Like you said, I was hesitant to do it at first because I thought it was going to mess me up, but... Um... I like it now. It definitely speeds up tearing things apart. Um... It does take a little adjusting to get your timing right. But at the end of it, it's, uh, it's a pretty good change. I don't see myself going back. All right, time to lace our camshaft in. And then we can put our heads on. And there we go. Come up here. That one on. And then we can start putting in our push rods. Actually, we, we should go ahead and put our timing chain in. Well, let's put our timing chain on. I uh, probably should have done that first. There we go. Timing chain's on. Now we put the push rods in. Now that the engine and uh, that the camshaft and the crankshaft are aligned, now we put the push rods in. I mean, it would have made a huge difference, but. I would have done that already. Before I put the valve lifters in, I would have done that. Alright, so rod, our arms are going in. See, this right here saves so much time with a camera not having to zoom in and out and in and out. I like that. It'll speed up your build time on, a, on an engine. It's one thing I've hated about the, doing the V8 overhead valve was all that zooming in and out when you're putting stuff in. Right. So what is next on the agenda? I don't know, to be honest with you. I'm going to go look at what's available. We still have several cars to build that we haven't built uh, in a video that are stock in the game uh, that I would like to build. Um, and there's a few mods out there that I'll probably build. I know a lot of you guys give me suggestions for cars you would like to see built that maybe are available as a mod or not available as a mod. Um, the one thing I will say is I have learned in the last 24 hours that some mods are being put on private discords. And if a mod is on a private discord, I'm not going to build it. Um, that's one thing I'm not going to do. If a mod is not readily available in the Steam forums uh, for you to download, then I'm not going to tell you about it. And I'm not going to point you in the direction of it. Uh, if you've got to jump through hoops to get something, then I'm not going to promote it. So some of the mods that you guys have been telling me about that are, you know, on somebody's Discord server that I've got to go get them off of there, I'm not going to do it. It's just forget it. To me, that's sort of like a cancer that once it starts and others start doing it, follow the lead and start doing it, it just gets out of control. We've seen it in the farm sim community. We've seen it in the ATS community and the ETS community. And, um, you know, the mods need to stay in one central location. It makes it easy for the community to find the mods. They don't have to join facebook groups they don't have to join somebody's discord they don't have to jump through a million hoops to get mods so if it isn't in the facebook if it's not in the steam forums um i'm, I'm just not going to promote it so that's gonna you know take me out of doing some mods and it may alienate me with a couple of modders but you know what that's fine there's no reason to not use the steam forums and eventually they're going to have the Steam Workshop, so.
but I don't I just don't see the reason to take it from the Steam forums and go private with it. Because then the next thing it'll be is, well, you got to be a member of this elite little community to get these. And, well, you know, we're only, you have to fill out of this. And I think you've got somebody making videos out there that are, hey, everybody, I'm doing this mod. And you can't get it because you're not a part of the kiss butt community. And I'm not going to do it. You're not one of the privileged few to be in our little clique, so you don't get this one. How many times have we seen that in ATS videos? And then you get that attitude, well, if they don't like it, they can learn how to mod themselves. I thought modding was because you wanted to enhance the game and make the game better and because you were an enthusiast about the game. But for too many of them, it turns into an ego trip, and yeah, I'm gonna take my ball and leave. So just be aware of that. If you see a mod that you think I ought to be building and I'm not building it, and you're wondering why I'm not building it, look at where it's available at. If it's not available on uh, on the Steam forums. I'm not going to build it. I'm going to take a stand there. Which, my opinion, matters about as much as five cents towards a $200 bottle of wine. Um, probably nobody even cares. But Alright, let's go ahead and move this over. Put it in a car. But, if I don't say something about it, then... You know, people just accept it as all right. So I might as well say something. Will it stop it? No. But if you don't ever, at least if you don't show your distaste for something, then people will just keep on doing stuff. And that's my thing. I've always done videos to showcase stuff for you guys. I don't like to play farm sim with farm sim mods that you can't get access to. I don't like to play, you know, I've never done the ETS stuff with elite mods or ATS stuff with elite mods. I just not going to do it. I'm, I'm going to play the game. I didn't buy an air scoop. How did I not buy an air scoop for this thing? Man, that should have been like one of the first things I purchased. All the way up here to the top. There we go. Grab that. Yeah, when somebody brought that up in the uh, in the live stream the other night, I just kind of, man, it just put a, a sour note to the whole stream because it's like I don't even want to talk about it. It just irks me so much. All right, so that should get that done. We need suspension parts. I mean, uh, gearbox stuff now. Maybe it's a temporary thing until the workshop comes out. Let's hope. Let's hope that's not some sort of trend that starts. And if it's about the cost associated with hosting mods, on a Dropbox or a Google Drive or somebody, well, you know, throw up a throw up a throw up a PayPal account and give us a link and let us give you some money so we can offset your expenses. I don't mind contributing to it as long as you're doing good stuff. If you're doing hokey mods, yeah. If you're doing stuff like what Felicix is doing, uh, I'll give you some money. I'll show you some love. over put in the starter that I didn't buy 
How did I not buy that too? I remembered to buy the fuel tank, but I didn't buy the starter. All right. That's done. Drive shaft time. We're getting close. We're getting close to hearing a roar. Now uh, we gotta put body panels on it, put exhaust on it, all that good stuff. Fuel pump. Uh, all right, so what do we need here? We need front exhaust pipe, V8 overhead valve. And then those are the D mufflers. All right, let's do that a quick. Front exhaust pipe times two. And then we need these mufflers. This is our goal. Uh, let's see. One more thing we gotta do. Put the old filter on last so I remember to put oil in it. That's the reason I do that now. If y'all are wondering, why did he put the oil filter on when he was building the engine? I probably wouldn't do it when I was building the engine. And uh, by doing it that way, I remember I need to come up here and put the oil in. And voila, that should be good enough. Check the dipstick over here, see if we got enough oil in it. Oh, uh, we're almost up to the mark. That's close enough. I really think you have to go all the way to the point where it gurgles out the top of it in order to make sure it's completely full. Like I said, if we come over here now and we do the whole hint to do it there, now it's full. All right. Good stuff. All right, so if we look at it now, we're at 77,986 bucks. I think I paid 32,000 for this thing when I bought it. Um, frame's good, interior's good. All we gotta do now is put the body parts on it and we're good to go. And of course, we're gonna have to buy every single body part for this because uh, it is a mod and at this point, uh, you can't uh, repair the mod the parts off of a mod Unless you get it out of the junkyard or something, but if it's on the car itself when you buy the car uh, It's not going to repair up so And again, I've said this before but I'll say this for people who are just now watching this video for the first time um, That's going to change when the workshop comes out, but for right now, that's just the way it is And as I said before, there is a mod out there that allegedly will fix that, but I'm not going to jump on it. I'm hoping that Steam Workshop's going to come out soon. It'd be really great if they put it out, you know, with the next patch. It has gonna been coming for a while now. Hmm. Would there really be a mirror on a gasser? Come on, I'm, I'm trying to get that cross member or the roll cage. I don't seem to get access to it. Where can I get access to that ad? There we go. The roll cage is in. Door is on. Mirror is on. Oh, 
Oh, that looks good. Yeah, I don't have that piece of glass. No matter how many times I look at it, it's not going to magically appear. Not sure how I missed it. Just bit my tongue. Alright, so that one piece of glass is all we're short. Uh, front right door window. Alright, so... Front right door window. Boom! Alright, that is done. Hood down. Actually, let's uh, go back into normal mode, throw the hood down on it. Man, that's pretty cool looking. Little alignment issue there. Hmm. Alright, let's go ahead and buy some interior pieces. I don't think this needs a back seat to it. Um, could be wrong. Come on, take me back out to the menu. I think we just need two seats for the front. The street mod did have a back seat in it, but I wouldn't think this would have a back seat in it. I probably should have looked, but uh, we can put whatever seat we want in here. Let's find something that looks like it's racy and supportive. Uh, seat 11 is not bad. Something that looks like something you would put in a uh, in one. That's a possibility. Something that's got a little bit of support to it. Kind of wraps around you. You know what I mean? Yeah, let's go with that. We're going to get two of these. Mmm, black or do we go with a with a like a cream? All right, so let's look at the interior and see what we got to put in here. Just one seat, just one seat and one steering wheel. All right, well, fool me. Uh, wheel. Something's got a little beef to it since we're going to be racing. Something's got to take a little crunch. Yeah, definitely don't want that one. Um, let's go with that. That'll be the wheel that we put in there. Yeah, I should have looked at the interior ahead of time. Yeah, I bought a seat that I didn't need. All right, to paint we go. Let's see how she looks once we get in there. Color on this, man, I'm liking black. I mean, honestly, I'm not in love with the matte black, but a gloss black might be kind of cool. I mean, that's just, oh, just straight out black, man. We want pearl on it. With the black windows and that, I mean, it just, it's almost like a hearse gasser, you know? I like it. I, I mean, I know it's a cheap, simple way out. Oh, did I send that to parking? Really? Way to go, Moose. Now we got to do the whole load in, load out thing. Which parking garage did it go to? Uh, it went to... No, that's the stock version. It went here. And we're back. 
I decided uh, you guys didn't need to sit through the whole in out in out thing of going to the parking garage. We're going to do nothing but go up there and launch it right back down here. So I edited that part out for you. Uh, looks like we do need license plates on this thing. I was hoping we didn't, but you know. Uh, let's see. We need one of these. And we need one of those. So let's see. Yep, we're in the right mode. Put that one on there. Oops. And we'll come back around to the back. And click on the car so that we can actually put it in. Well, there we go. And I guess we ought to put the tail lights on here. Since I missed those earlier. Did I miss anything else? Hope not. Let's see. 100% across the board. Yay! All right, so we paid uh, 32000 for this, and we're going to be selling it for $169,257. Uh, nice. Not bad at all. Not too bad at all. I like it. All right, so... I will be selling these off, by the way. As much as I would love to keep these and put them up in my parking garage and everything, I'm probably going to sell them all off and unload the mod uh, from the game. And the only reason is, is ever since I put this one in, I've had really long loading times uh, between things like the garage, the, the track, the initial loading of the game has been a lot longer since I put this mod pack in. It hasn't crashed my game or corrupted anything, but it just seems like the game's having a hard time processing it. So with that said, I, um, I'm probably going to unload this car as much as I've enjoyed putting it together and as awesome as they look. Um, I'm probably going to unload this one and uh, dump it out. I may purge all the mods out of my game. I'm not really sure yet. But anyways, let's take this thing out to the airport and see what kind of power it's got. Uh, so we are looking at the dragster, right? Street machine dragster. That's what we want this time. Alright, hopefully this one is going to be able to lay a peel and do awesome for us. Looks good. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, we definitely need to drag drag strip in the game. Someone suggested during the live stream the other night that maybe maybe a salt flat would have been cool. I guess, but I'd rather have it I'd rather have an actual drag strip. That you could do a burnout on, you know, and get everything lined up straight, do a burnout, and then actually have to hold it straight for for the run. that much speed. Seems like we have more speed out of some of the little little cars that we got out of this one. I mean, shockingly, one of the fastest cars we've had has been that stupid tow truck. Not stupid, silly tow truck, whatever. Alright, so here we go. Ready? Down at 
73. Not terrible. Not terrible at all. I like it. Alright, well there it is, guys. Hope you all enjoyed it. Hope you've enjoyed the whole week of Nomad Builds. And again, if you haven't already, jump over to the Steam forums and uh, just leave a little note for Felicix and let him know you appreciate the mod and uh, all his hard work. Uh, even if you're not going to download it and build it. Uh, just give him a little bit of attaboy over there. Say thanks for everything he's done and all the details he's added into it. It is a very sharp car. He's done a very good job with it. So, all right, guys, as always, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit the like button, share it with your friends, leave a comment down below. And of course, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel and come back to join us for our next video or join us for a live stream over on Twitch. And if you haven't followed me on Twitter, make sure you do. That's where, of course, I post all the information as far as when we post a new video or when we do a live stream. All right. All the information is down below. Link to where you can download the mod. Until next time, everybody, stay safe. Have a great day. Bye-bye.